running back to be the leading rusher, not your quarterback. It's more of a pro-style offense. They'll try to get Fitzgerald Tucson going. And he's stacked up by an instance of cost him those games. It was one of the best rushing defenses in the country last year. They're one of the worst this year. Man open, Devin Funches. And he's out of bounds. Expect Funches. They love that kid. Well, they talked a lot about him. Knew he was a big weapon they'd have to deal with tonight. Out of the pistol now, Gardner. With Fitzgerald Toussaint behind him. Running room for Toussaint. 43, second down and three for Michigan. Four-man rush. Gardner throws. A man open and a first down. Out to the first and ten. Wolverines on the move. Their first drive on the road this year. Two sock. We're on eastern half of the country today, and we do expect some here tonight. Hopefully not before the game is finished. Quick toss to Gallon. And he is swung down and out of bounds. Probably behind the Huskies. Plenty of time for Devin Gardner. His pass is high, and it is intercepted. On the ricochet, Javon Williams has it. No score, first and ten, Michigan. Devin Gardner out of the pistol. It's Gerald Toussaint. Stop. And guard, a lot of times that's an indicator where they're going to run. They have two veteran outstanding tackles. It's the interior of the offensive line that has occasionally struggled. Gallon the catch. Right then, chances are they'll run that way. Gardner on a design rollout. First down and a lot of running room. And knocked out about to make a play. Toussaint alone back. Play action fake to him. Again, plenty of time. Gardner pulls it down. Cross the line of scrimmage, and he's banged around after a two-yard run because he's playing with hesitation. They empty the backfield on second and nine. Set up a screen against the three-man rush. J.U. Chesson. Gardner, lots of running room and a first down inside the 30. 10, Denard Robinson had a big game. Second down and 11. Michigan at the UConn 28. Gardner dancing behind the line and dumped that. Last year's defense that led the Big East to the NFL draft. Third and 13. Here comes a blitz. Gardner hit as he throws. It's up for grabs and a flag thrown. And Louisville will be leaving this conference next year as well. It's Gerald Toussaint pulled down. 38th of the year. Only Cal has had more running plays that have gone for no gain or negative yardage. Gardner zings one. Incomplete here and keep a big home field advantage, they hope. Here's another blitz on third down. Gardner runs through it. Has the first down, has a touchdown. One of the largest crowd ever to watch a football game. More than 115,000 were there. Gardner out there. Greens on the road. There's more than a half a million alumni around the world. Gardner pursued by Yawin Smallwood. He's in trouble. Probably should have gotten rid of it if he could have. And he's taken down by two things he did wrong in their win over the Irish. Third down and 26 after a loss of 16. A look out from behind. Gardner never saw Reuben Frank. Reuben Frank to come around his best speed rusher off the edge. And look who he beats. The All-American and fine football player in Taylor LeWan. Rising up to that challenge. On first and 10 for Michigan. Here's Fitzgerald Toussaint trying to turn the corner to the right. He's extremely loose, but he's playing tight. High formation behind him on second and three. Toussaint just beyond the first down mark. Performance. A lot of good things against Akron, too, but he just felt out of sync. Really never was comfortable in that game. Toussaint weaves his way out to the 39 by the Houston Texans in the fourth round. C.O. Moore, a linebacker, was drafted in the third round by Oakland. A lot of good players gone from a year ago. Deep ball down the sideline in from third down. They were just three for ten against Akron last week in their four-point win. Five-man rush. Gardner throws quickly too far in front of Dilio. They're down in this game from 17 yards. It's Gerald Toussaint was on his left. He blocks for Gardner, who has running room to the right. Little stop and go and a first down out of bounds at the 30. 
Again, and with regularity, a few times they paid for it as Gardner's run by them. Only a three-man rush on third and long, and Gallon couldn't catch. Third and 16. Just a three-man rush. And still they flush Gardner. Throws down the middle and incomplete. Little performed at his best, even though he had a rough start. Let's see if he can do the same here. Play action fake to Toussaint. Gardner wants a deep ball. Has a man out there. It's underthrown and intercepted by Byron. All right, thank you, Robert. Minute 40 to go. Two timeouts left for each team. Gardner pulls it down, trying to find a running lane. And he's ankle tackled. At Back, he said, we're going to give you time to throw the ball. He's also told the defense, you did your job. We have to do ours. Five-man rush. Gardner in trouble. He won't get away. Down back at the 34. 0-2 oh, start. Third and 20. And a conservative play call. They give it to Fitz Tucson. He got built in the 25. Gardner just 5 out of 13 passing in the first half. It's Gerald Tucson. Our boys are ready to play now. Trying to get the running game going with somebody other than Gardner. Three for eight for the game. Gardner pinballed around. The ball's out. Picked up by UConn's Tymere Brown. He's going to score. Right against Michigan. Gardner. And that's been their main play all night. He just pulls it down and runs. There are flags down. Gardner off to the races. Delivers a stick. No. Offense number 77. The 10-yard penalty, first down. The All-American team captain, Taylor Lewan, guilty of the hold. So they can look Taylor right here. Let's see where the hold does come. And he's got him inside, hooked. It's okay to get your hands inside, but you cannot. Assured, Michigan fans, it wouldn't happen again. Deep handoff to Tucson. In trouble. And down. Angelo. Pressure from behind. A throwback screen. You called it, Chris. Tucson got a block from Luan, but it didn't help. Nope. Third and 25. Gardner going to try to run for it. And he's chopped down in the open field. 75 acres to the state of Connecticut to build the stadium as UConn moved up to the top level of college football. It's Gerald Tucson on first and 10. 15, even after they beat Akron last week. Some of the pollsters had some questions. He'll have more after tonight, almost certainly, regardless. Up inside, he's very instinctive, runs around and makes a lot of plays. Jake butt the tight end in motion. On second and 11, Gardner has a man open. Jeremy Gallon. He's whacked forward by the defense for a... There were three out of ten last week against Akron on third down. Quick handoff. Tucson lunges and has the first down. These are Graham Glasgow and Kyle Kalis. Each of them just making his fourth career start. They're all first-year starters. Inside those veteran tackles. Slant behind Dilio. Option. Gardner got walloped as he pitched it to Tucson, who has a first down inside the 20. He's going to score. Touchdown, Michigan. Extra point could tie it for Michigan. They marched nicely down the field on the last drive. It's Gerald Tucson. Down to the line is in this part of the world. A lot of Yankee fans, too. This is about halfway between New York and Boston. Gardner escapes, throws back over the middle, and incomplete. Gardner for the year entering tonight was 80% passing on third down, 24 for 30. Can he do it again? Zings one deep, and is it caught? Yes. Conversion for Michigan gives them first and 10 from their own 41. First play of the fourth quarter. Devin Gardner's pass deflected. Be delighted with the play of the defense tonight. Will they rise up again? Play action pass. No rush. Gardner deep. Man open. It is incomplete. The big plays. Kind of plays when you're in the position UConn's in. Generally, you think you have to make on first and 10 from the 31. Pitch Tucson. 
Three-man rush. They still get Garden to move. Trying to find some running room. Here comes Smallwood. And he got him down back at the 38. Defense. Third and 17. Can Michigan convert on third and long again? Gardner started a run. Thought better of it. Now he's across the line of scrimmage. And he's down about two yards short of the fourth down this year. Gardner out of the gun. Pulls it down to run. And he lost the ball. Got it back, but it looks like he's short of the first down. Where is the man spotting the ball? The line judge. Under center, Gardner. First and 10 from the 12. A touchdown and the extra point to tie. Tucson turns the corner. Untouched into the end. First and 10, Michigan. They have an excellent field goal kicker. They want more. They want seven. They might get it. Tucson shoved out of bounds. They're going to stick with it. Finds another crease. Gets thrown down by Smallwood. He didn't like it. Living up to his reputation tonight. Second down and four. They're starting to find the rhythm on the run. For the most part, running short four. Will it be another design run for Gardner? Nope. He throws and Gallon's open. Has a first down inside. He's dating back to last year with at least four catches. Toussaint trying to turn the corner again. Lost the ball. And Michigan pounces on it as it goes across the boundary. He hasn't had a carry tonight. Will they give it to him on second and nine? No, they fake it to him. Gardner being pursued. Gets away. And he's down just short of the front back in. Gardner in trouble. Just throws it away. 